Ciao, I'm Enzo. I'm Celia. This is a Piazza Talk, a channel about our life in Lucca. And in the Tuscan Hills. Please hit the subscribe button. Grazie. Cosa tu mangi Enzo? Fallo fantastico. Lo fai bevuto solo con la buccia. Ma cos'è? What is it? It is anchovy, salted anchovy uh, dripping, which is wonderful. With the lemons of the amapitos. Ah, bene, grazie. And where are we? We are in Cetara, in the amapitos, not far from Salerno and not far from Positano. And it's the proper village where... This is the area, the, the village, they have the tradition to, um, to make uh, uh, a lot of the amici. Sì, sono varie varietà, malti, sorrento, però hanno, eh, alcuni limoni hanno la parte diciamo succo che è minima, quello che tu mangi principalmente è la parte bianca eh, che è dolce e la scorza. Ok, that's all very well, but I'm actually hungry, so... Yes, ok, well you can finish it. So how do you make the... So what exactly is garo? It's uh, you, it's a layers and layers of anchovies, so with salt, and then uh, there is some dripping at the bottom of the, this kind of uh, the, uh, the liquid comes out, yeah, of the, the liquid, yes, so as they're rotting, basically, yes, and then the, the, the liquid is taken and is aged in a uh, barrel. And uh, well, we say rotting, but in some ways mature is the right word. And uh, for a certain number of months, <laughs> and then uh, it becomes colatura di orici. And this is made with um, peperoncino, um, chili, chili and, and lemons. And lemons. Yeah. And I just want to say that uh, the garum was the ancient Roman ketchup. So they had it everywhere, on every dish they would do for their stuff. We went to a good restaurant, Panico Corsa, bread and something Neapolitan. And the owner wanted to show us some of the uh, sauces that he sells separately. We want to buy a bottle of uh, Colatura di Alici um, to take home and so we go to this producer called Nettuno. So stay with us because uh, at the end of the video I will show you how to make uh, pasta with uh, Colatura di Alici. Uh, you can also order uh, from Nettuno's website or surprisingly enough even Amazon sells it. <laughs> no, perché è troppo bello questa cosa che ho qui.
We know there's still 6% of our viewers and not subscribed. If you enjoyed our videos, please uh, press the subscribe button. All you need is a Google account. It's free and helps us keep going because of Google Analytics. Thank you for watching and your support. And now we're going to make the pasta with the colatura di alici. This is the colatura di alici we bought in uh, uh, Cetara and we can't wait to taste it. It's not a very complicated recipe, it's quite simple. Uh, what you need is uh, good extra virgin olive oil. In our case, we got extra virgin olive oil from a uh, hill. You need uh, an unwaxed lemon. You need chili and garlic. And also some parsley. And obviously, the pasta, spaghetti. I think you said it. What do you think, Celia? Do you remember anything else? <laughs> no. Okay. We start the first stage. So, what you need is a nice bowl. And we add, first of all, some olive oil. Then add the chili, the garlic that I cut in small but not too small, want to give flavor to the olive oil, okay, that's enough. Then we add first of all a bit of Pasty, and we do it like a granis with our hands. We add some now and some at the end. Okay, that's enough for now. Now we go to add the colatura di alici and we add one tablespoon per person, which is the, mm, the proportion we need. And if you like it more uh, sapida, more umami, you add uh, a, a tiny bit more of colatura di alici, it depends on you. The colatura di alici, the garlic, the parsley and the chili, they get in a very nice uh, infusion. It's boiling, so I'm going to add salt. In this case, I add half of the amount that we need. Uh, no, it's for a bowl of pasta. And it's now that time to put the spaghetti in. Ten minutes al dente. The pasta is now ready and we can drain it. So we now wait, so we also need a little bit of water here. Here we are, it looks absolutely wonderful. Now the most important thing is that we have to toss it and the heat of the pasta will develop the flavour further. And you see if we need a bit of uh, pasta water, we can see. It looks quite okay at the moment. And I'm going to add a few more things. We need to add more parsley. If that's enough. I think we need a bit more olive oil. would be quite generous because pasta has become a bit nice and slippery. And last touch is lemon zest. It's something that uh, um, is not in every recipe, but when we went to the restaurant in uh, 
uh, Cetara, the added the lemon zest adds something special to the dish. I would say that uh, freshness, something that is uh, adds some a kind of fresh touch to the uh, to this dish. Okay, I think we can mix it. Yeah. And we are ready to serve. You can test the uh, anchovies, the umami is very nice, and uh, the chili adds a bit of extra something, and the lemon as well. I refuse to taste this dish uh, simply because I didn't want to be seen eating spaghetti. Ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I never. Mm. I look at these videos and I look so inelegant. <laughs> okay. Mm. Fantastic. Thank you for watching and a super thank you to our subscribers. If you have not subscribed yet, please press the button. It's a great way to support our channel and it's free.